we're gonna feel this black paint pretty damn hot feel this light paint very light so let's talk about a couple things we know about checking thermal checking they just come along and they actually sand all this and then put their primer on there their base coat and then they're clear good day everyone i thought i would take a moment to go get my new mini truck and uh, shoot the little intro to this video so as you saw in a couple clips there we're going to be talking about different subjects when it comes to paint uh, right now in my mini truck after many years of it sitting under a tarp the paint has restored very well but it's a steel body compared to fiberglass bodies so in the video we'll talk about thermal checking on uh, current coaches and older coaches by what color you paint it and then we'll uh do a little bit of talking about custom paint and how they paint the stainless steel on the side of Prevos or if you have stainless steel accents by Summit um, painting those also so here we go we'll get you into this video and I hope you all enjoy hey I want to thank everybody that's taking the time to subscribe before we get started really appreciate it hope you're all having a great day and enjoy this little couple videos Florida RV show and I walked up here and I saw two brand new Newmar Dutch Stars and it's sunny out here it's about 70 degrees and I thought this would be the prime example of why do motorhome manufacturers nowadays want to paint everything so dark I mean we're gonna walk up there I wish I had my temp gun with me we're gonna feel this black paint pretty damn hot feel this light paint very light so let's talk about a couple things we know about checking thermal checking happens when you get fiberglass too hot and it checks Another thing is, the air conditioning system is going to be working a lot harder. So with all that black up there, all that overheads, all those AV equipment, everything up there is going to be smoking hot. Up here, that front overhead is going to stay much, much cooler. And in my personal opinion, I like that white one much better than this black one. Now you'll notice they're the exact same designs. It's just a different option in the order book. So let's go over here to this Dutch Star. I like the white one. We'll give you a quick tour a little bit inside so that way you can see it. They've got all the jacks down, all these on displays. Lots of Dutch Stars. Even another one here with the blacks and the reds compared to the blacks with the silvers. Still coming back to this one is the one I like. Let's go inside really quick. I want to give you a quick tour and show you just how light colors and how all gray these coaches are today. That's like the color. You paint them blue on the outside, you make them gray and white on the inside, and then boom, they sell. That's the theory at least. Nice espresso pantina effect here around the edges of the route outs and stuff. I mean, it's a beautiful coach. Don't take me wrong. If you're coming in, want to buy a brand new coach, want to have a factory warranty, all the knickknacks and goo -gaws and all that stuff, these are for you. This thing smells brand new. I mean, I think it left a production line a few days ago. Here's that new dash style that they're running. It's going to be on that Freightliner chassis. I'll put a link below to the uh, video I did on the raw chassis. But that's kind of the gist of it. I just wanted to talk about the temperatures. You know, all this is painted white right here. So the insulation's keeping it nice and easy. On that other one with that black up there, all the stuff is all going to be much hotter. So there's my quick little two cents of the colors from 2022 that all these manufacturers are making them a lot and a lot of dark colors. Another two cents on this whole thing too. If you'll notice, you can see all the buff marks in this black. I don't know how well you can see it in the camera. I'll try to get up close there. And these other buff marks in the black, where's the white? You're not gonna see the buff marks. I was an auto detailer once and I always hated when a guy came in with a brand new black Corvette and you had to polish that thing and get no swirl marks or nothing. Hours and hours. To make this bus look beautiful, it's gonna take you a couple hundred dollars an hour and a lot of refinishing or a lot of paint correction to get all those compound marks out of there. So that's the two cents. I'm back with the white. Really like it, the lighter colors again. All right, good day everyone. Hanging out here at the Florida RV Super Show in the Prevo booth. We've got some pretty cool, cool stuff going on here at the show. But I had some people ask about how do they paint the chrome on the sides of these buses. Well, actually, it's not chrome. It's polished stainless steel to a mirror finish. But then they come along, and in these areas on this marathon here, as you can see, 
they've got all these stripes on the stainless they just come along and they actually sand all this and then put their primer on there their base coat and then they're clear so that's the way it works because up from here up is going to be fiberglass all the way to the roof from there down it's going to be stainless so that's why you end up being able to have that mirror effect looking like a chrome we'll come in here and see some of the effects they've done they'll put a base coat down that's dark and then they'll put a wet coat down that's light color and then you go and put a surface material over here and it pulls part of that off and that's how you'll get an effect like that in the paint now on the liberty next door which i'll take you to here in a minute the dean louts they did it a little different style you can see here in the silver they've even cut along and then they've done a fade into where they've used that three quarter inch pin all the way down the sides of this what's really cool is some of this pin actually grows as a graphics and then the other parts just stay there in their design got those nice led lights coming on in the top but let's go over to that dean louse paint job one of his artisan series on that liberty we made it over to the liberty dean louse number 15 of his artisan series as you can see this is a beautiful liberty bus conversion but i came over here to show some of these cool paint effects You've got these solids here and then these solids here but then you have these graphics in this beautiful blue here now if you'll notice what that is you've taken base coat and thinned it down and then just sprayed it on there to make a marble effect with the base coat really thin and then that way your light color will show through there gives a super cool effect especially around like the edge of this room gives it a real uh, just natural flow how he's come in and done all these artifacts now this is going to be an h series so this will be full fiberglass that's why you don't have any stainless on the sides of it compared to the x series it's beautiful coach here excellent display awesome inside liberty always doing a great job with the elegant ladies so all right everyone that's kind of the ins and outs real quick of the paint on the chrome areas of course this is going to be another h over here so you won't have any of that chrome effect so only on the x series is like that cravo shell over there and then the marathon that they had brought so that's the ins and outs beautiful dean laos paint job beautiful marathon paint job when you're spending over two million i hope you get a beautiful paint job so all right everyone till next time i hope you're all enjoying these videos all right quick little outro the end of this video as you saw talking about custom paint i'm here with my tandem mini truck comment below if you want me to do a two full tour video of this mini truck that i just bought that i'm going to be taking out to the west coast show series and have been working on getting ready to go um if you, we get 20 comments below I'll do a complete video about this custom mini truck that I've acquired. Now, this isn't my first tandem mini truck, as we call them. I built one back in the 90s, and things changed and didn't end up completing it. And now, here I am, the caretaker of this beautiful Chevy S10 tandem. So, like I said, drop a comment below. Hit those likes. Let me know what you think. 20 comments or so. We'll shoot one. Thanks again, everyone.